today in our sports encyclopedia series, we'll talk about auto polo. So let's begin. Auto polo is an ancient sport that's been directly derived from regular polo. The game involves players playing polo while riding in automobiles. It's believed that the game was invented in the United States and it stayed popular within the country and in Europe for about a decade in the early 20th century. Auto polo is now extinct and it's not played anymore in the world. The basic objective of the game is to score more points than the opponent team. How to play auto polo? All players must be qualified enough to drive an automobile. The players use sticks similar to croquet sticks except that they're much heavier with a three pound head as the mallets to strike the ball. The balls used in the game was a regulation size basketball. The game was designed to be played on outdoor fields and indoor arenas. The arena was 300 foot by 120 foot in its dimensions and there used to be two goals, 15 foot wide on both ends of the field. The basic target for each player is exactly similar to polo, that's to score as many goals as possible. The goal is scored when a member of a specific team manages to drive the ball through the goal of the opponent team. Both teams were given two cars each, and both teams possessed cars that were distinctly different in color. In both teams, two players used to ride in each car, where one player was responsible for piloting the vehicle and the other player was responsible for striking the ball. Players in both teams pass the ball among their teammates as they drive it towards the goalpost. The game was only popular for a short period of time, and then it got dismissed mostly because of the action and accidents. The game later got revived in the form of Tuck Tuck Polo. How to win an auto polo? The first team that manages to score the most goals in the given duration of time is declared as the winner. If you like the video, hit the like button, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.